and uh, I'm Cantor Steve, Cantor Steve Zeidenberg. I'm the Cantor at Ohavi Zedek. And um, my role at the synagogue is, of course, leading prayer and music. And prayer and music is particularly important right now. People are looking for a way to connect and a way to express their hopes and feelings and fears. And um, so today I really wanted to present uh, a prayer for healing that I personally connect to and I, I found other people have connected to during this time. And it's called Healer of the Brokenhearted. It's a song by um, Shir Yaakov and it's based on a traditional prayer, actually, is Psalm 147 that we say in the mornings. It's a prayer for healing, and it is in Hebrew and in English. Healer of the brokenhearted How does prayer and how does song, you know, help people in a situation? It's interesting. People have expressed to me that when they are, when they're singing or hearing music, there is something that can bring them away from their current situation. And um, prayer, in its essence, Jewish prayer is about expressing our deepest fears, longing, wishes. And prayers for healing are actually part of the daily ritual. 
um, traditionally. And so it's, we're supposed to actually as Jews express our deepest longings and feelings and fears in our prayers. And through those longings, through those expressions, we were supposed to be able to put that energy, put, it, put that, uh, those ideas into the world. And that helps us to be agents of healing. That helps us to be the best um, friends and family and neighbors to our people who are needed healing. And it just helps our, our own body, our own physiology and our own psychology to heal. So it, it um, people have, you know, in times like these, people are turning to prayer and to healing. Unfortunately, we can't do these rituals with people in our rooms, in our sanctuaries. So we've had to create Zoom services and Zoom Shabbat, Zoom, Zoom healing services. And people have been able to listen and share that way. And it isn't the same as being in the room, but it's a pretty amazing substitute. And people who are in all kinds of, all places of, you know, our own members who are in Florida are still able to be with us and share these prayers. So it's, it's an amazing tool um, that we have. And it's a really, it's a big honor for me to be able to bring myself, bring my voice to help other people in healing.